welcome, happy Labor Day. Today I'm going to be showing you a DIY of one of the most popular floral arrangements you can do yourself for any event, any party, uh, centerpiece, uh, welcome table that you can do. So we're gonna get right into it. Also, if you like what you see in here, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like below. Now we all love a good centerpiece, love to decorate, especially with florals, and fall is one of my favorite times to decorate with so many warm colors. Since my wedding happens to be in fall, just a week before Thanksgiving, I'm wanting to use a lot of warm colors, but still keep a lot of my theme colors for my wedding, which are like the blushes and the ivories and some of the dark burgundies. So one of my favorite DIYs to do is centerpieces. I'm going to have some centerpieces for events like showers, or you can have them for engagement parties, uh, welcome tables, card tables. There's many options you can do when you're trying to decorate for any event. And one of the florals DIYs that I'm gonna show you today is one of the easiest, under $20, and I'm gonna show you how I do it right now. Stay tuned. Here you can see that we've got flowers, our oil-based Sharpie with a foam roller and some acrylic signs. Now half of these guys I got at the Dollar Tree and Michaels. So what I did is I printed out a template I made from Photoshop and I taped it to the back, all four corners. And what you see I'm doing here is I'm simply just going to trace over my template that I taped to the back. Now you wanna make sure your oil-based Sharpie, you shake it up really well, especially if it's brand new and this is the first time you're using it. So when you're tracing over, as you can see at the top, you want it to be covered in white, that way you know your paint is coming out from your Sharpie. It dries very quickly, you guys, so there won't be any smudging or any stains. So then I'm gonna take my foam block, get it however big you would like for your sign to fit. It can be medium size or, or smaller signs. And I just punctured two little holes in it just to give myself a good measurement. I cut along the edges and then just started kind of playing with the arrangements. Now guys, you can remove these, replace them however you like, rearrange the colors. What I wanted to do is just get the flowers in the foam block so then I can kind of start rearranging and seeing what I like and what I wanted to change. Now since my colors are on the blush lighter sides with the burgundies, I wanted to make sure I also had enough greenery in there. So to frame my acrylic sign, I wanted to put most of the greenery on the outside and a lot of my lighter colors towards the middle of the frame. Now again, you don't have to cover the entire foam block. If it is too thick, once I'm done, I can shave off the bottom a little bit so it's not so thick, or you can simply just add more acrylic flowers, again, that I got from the Dollar Tree. Everything is under $20. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to stage my centerpiece a little bit, tablecloth, and as you can see, it's a perfect fit. Looks fantastic for decor and signs. Completely not centered. <laughs>